You are now listening to The Spearsy Spin with your host, Mike Spears. Hi, folks, and welcome to The Spearsy Spin. We're talking about the terrible terrorist attack this week in London, and it was just it was horrific. The terrorist attack this week in, in London not only caused fear and panic there, but, but also brought tragedy and sadness to families here in the United States. So far, eight people have been arrested after Khalid Massoud uh, drove a car into people on the Westminster Bridge, killing four people just outside of the British Parliament. The eight people were arrested in London and Birmingham, Scotland Yard, however, is still searching East London. Eight, uh, all eight of these folks have been uh, held on suspicion of uh, terrorist acts, and the investigation involves hundreds of detectives. So far, a 39-year-old woman in East London has been arrested, along with a 21-year-old woman and a 23-year-old man. A 26-year-old woman and three other men were arrested in Birmingham, yesterday and we have just learned this uh, just before getting ready to put this out for airing or actually recording I should say that a 58 year old man has now been arrested for suspicion of terrorist acts um, as a result of Scotland Scotland Yard's investigation now sadly a gentleman by the name of Kurt Cochran who is 54 who was injured alongside his wife, Melissa, of Utah. They were both tourists who were celebrating their 25th wedding anniversary and were, were among the, the first hit by the, the vehicle on the Westminster Bridge. And sadly, Mr. Cochran uh, died Thursday morning uh, at the hospital there in London from his, his injuries. Now, the Cochran's church... Church of uh, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Now, they've publicly said that the family is heartbroken and that Kurt was a good man and a loving husband uh, to you know their, their sister and their daughter, Melissa. Police believe Masood, 52, acted alone when he drove an SUV into pedestrians on Westminster Bridge before stabbing a police officer to death on the Parliament ground. A woman that was going to pick up her daughters from school was also killed Wednesday in the London terror attack. Masood was born in Kent uh, in the UK and they believe he was most recently living in the uh, West Midlands in the city of Birmingham. Masood had previous convictions for assaults including grievous bodily harm, possession of offensive weapons and public order offenses. Masad was Masood rather was an Islamic state soldier, according to an ISIS source. Prime Minister Theresa May called the act sick and depraved. She also said terrorism tried to silence our democracy today, but we are not afraid and our resolve will never waver, she said. Democracy will always prevail. The dead included a British policeman stabbed repeatedly and a 75-year-old victim of the bridge attack died late Thursday after he was taken off life support, according to police. Six remain hospitalized with four in critical condition and two with life-threatening injuries. London has been a target for terrorism many times over the past few decades. Prime Minister Theresa May told the people of London, let this be a message from this house and this nation today. Our values will prevail in London. So we're going to try to now answer why do people join ISIS? And we're going to try to figure out the psychology of a, a terrorist. Well, most people that join terror groups are actually not crazy. In fact, most represent just, just the opposite. And by and large, terrorists are not mentally ill. 
Young men from the United States, London, and Middle Eastern countries have left their homes to, to join the terror group. Now, there are very few psychologists today that even bother to study the minds of terrorists. Now, you might ask why, and it's because the psychological fundamentals used to identify any common mental denominator is at best futile. And further, there's an extreme divide between the societal differences of an American psychologist and that of an uneducated, archaic thinking and barbarically inclined ideologue. ISIS uses propaganda to get people to join the Sunni militant group. Now, the ISIS group indoctrinates those mentally insecure individuals who are at their core mentally impudent. ISIS identifies the group's need for engineers, doctors, professionals, and anything that you can contribute to the Islamic State. Radicals that want to become terrorists see their union with the group as an equal opportunity situation because there's no real competition and unregulated power. And that includes the greatest power of all, a decider of death and sexual proclivity. The Islamic State has something for everyone. And at the end of the day, those unfulfilled, empty souls desperately need to belong to something bigger than themselves. A new, powerful reinvention of themselves without the risk of embarrassing social failures. That's our show. Thanks for being with us, folks. God's prayers for those folks in London. <laughs>